the area that sinks is often much larger than the actual workings below. There is no way of stopping these movements, but they can be controlled. At the face, as the coal is taken away, steel props and corrugated steel bars are put up at once to reduce movement in the roof and to prevent breaks forming which might cause falls of rock. On the other side of the working area, the pressure from above is much greater. There they use chocks which can be withdrawn and rebuilt and which are very strong indeed. To take the full weight of the roof as it begins to sink, which it must do as the coal face advances, packs are built. They are made by building walls from large pieces of stone and filling the space in the middle with small waste material. This cross-section shows how the miners control the movements of the rock strata. As soon as the coal has been taken out, the props and steel bars are set to prevent breaks from becoming dangerous. Then the chocks are moved forward and the pack walls are built level with them. Any props in the waste area behind are pulled out and the roof is allowed to sink down on the packs or fall in between them. 